Delictum Ophelis. Curse those humans! They're attacking the royal minds again! Knights of the Square Table, defend our family jewels! We must defeat Sir George's men! Gasflame, establish a defense perimeter. Bernevere, report on troop strength. Blaze, you and I will attack in formation Delta Tango Orange. Or better yet, let's just rush in and torch those buggers. Or Camelhot! Who? The raid wasn't a complete loss, Sir George. We did lose a thousand knights, but at least we made off with this extraordinary diamond. It's half eaten! Curse those dragons! Merlin, I want some fiendish advice. How can I make Camel Hot mine? Hmm. My spies have just given me some new, deliciously diabolical information regarding the future of Camelot. <sighs> My new alarming clock is a splendid invention, but adding the snooze level was pure genius. Now hurry up, you lazy bag of dragon droppings. King Ulthar's been waiting to see you. I just want to test the snooze level one more time. I'll be down in nine minutes. Fine. I'll tell the king, our absolute sovereign, master of all he surveys, that you can't fit him into your busy schedule. Whoa, hold your jingle bells. Tell the king I'm on my way. Maybe it's about my request to battle in the tournament tomorrow. If I can't win, Princess Flame will be forced to marry someone else. It's my pet moth, Pavlov. So far, I've conditioned him to stay in his jar even after the lid is removed. Hello, little friend. Anxious to show all the nice people what a well-trained moth you are? Love, where are you going? You're setting a terrible example at the beginning of the game. Bad, Moth, bad. I'd love to sit here all day and... A good inventor always has his invention book. Flicker, about tomorrow's tournament, my answer is no! Jeez, I was only an hour late. The tournament is open only to dragon knights. You're not a knight, you're not even a squire. Knights of the square table, your attention please. Silence please, silence for the king. Pray silence! The king is speaking! Shh! I'm sorry. We must do something, Flicker. I refuse to marry one of these flaming idiots. I'll try, Flame. I promise. 
Uh oh, visitors. Humans in Camelot? Greetings, King Smallfire. <laughs> oh, I sincerely regret to hear that you are finally retiring. When my entry in your tournament, the Black Dragon wins and is crowned king, he will turn your hide into ladies' handbags and tight shoes. What? Humans can't enter the tournament? I'm certain the Camelot law book will not allow such a thing, Chancellor! Hmm. You're undoubtedly right, sire. Chapter 3, Section 9, Paragraph 18 clearly states that humans shall not be eligible to participate in any tournament. Take a bite out of that, haircut boy. Unless, of course, they have a dragon to participate on their behalf. Chancellor, I believe you're mistaken. Doesn't Chapter 3, Section 9, Paragraph 18 refer to an obscure law governing public snout picking? Uh, yes, well, at one time it did, but uh, I changed it, accidentally. Uh, this is a sensitive matter of state, King Orphire. I really don't think the princess should be involved. Quite right. Keep quiet, Dennis. Quibble while you may. Tomorrow, Camel Hut will be mine. Away, Mervyn! Humans! Ha! We should have toasted the little pink bugs the moment they arrived. Calm down! Our opponent can be defeated! Your mission is to bring back information about this mysterious black dragon. Yes, sire! Father, Flicker needs a mission. Oh, okay. Flicker, I hereby command you to wash all the dirty dishes that have piled up in the royal kitchen. There you have it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wacko! Tell you who, chaps, we have a black dragon to quash! That's an English word, you know. Ooh! Blind idiot! Oh, great. I see Sir Gasvane's been using room service again. <laughs>